Hello, my most amazing artist. I am so excited about today because we're gonna be making recycled robots because we're talking about robots and donuts this week. Now, some of you guys have done this before in kindergarten with the robots and donuts, but this is kind of new. We are gonna have a good time though because we use recycled materials in the art room all the time. So I wanted to show you what I found just around my house. I had some bubble wrap. I cut up some tissue boxes. Make sure when you're cutting and if you're using scissors, just ask a grown-up to help for safety if you need some help. Straws, forks, spoons, paper towel rolls, all that stuff I'm going to put in a bowl because my kids are going to use it later. And I even have paper scraps. I have stickers. And I even have some donut post-its. I'm using anything I found, so this is gonna be great. So the first thing I need to do is I need to kind of assemble my robot body. So I'm gonna take two of these cardboard pieces and kind of put them in a V-shape. You can put them straight down like this. And I don't wanna tape or glue anything down yet because I wanna get it just the way I want. And then I can. And I think since my favorite color is green, I'm going to do a green belly. And let's see, I think I wanna do recycled robot fork arms. I think that looks pretty good. And then for the head, I actually have some sticky notes. And they're not perfect, but they will work. So I'm going to just pull one out. And if I don't like the way the edge is, I can just cut away from myself and do that. So now I got to assemble the robot. Then we got to decorate him or her. So what I'm going to do first is on the paper parts, I'm going to get Gary glue, make sure his hair is up just right, and then put the cap to the side. Get some Gary glue on the back. And he picks it up all by himself. Don't forget that so you don't get too sticky. Smooth it down. If a piece is coming up, just kind of go back and add some more glue. Press it down. Going to move his arms because those are so thick, which means kind of fat, that the glue won't let them stick to the paper. So anything that's paper or cardboard should stick with a glue stick, but you can always use tape or hot glue if you have a grown-up helping you. I am just using glue and tape today. Okay, I'm done with Gary, so I'm gonna put his cap back on, snap it. Now, I think I want his legs, since robots are kind of beep boop beep, kind of boxy, I'm gonna have them straight down instead of diagonal. But you can do yours any way you want. Little piece of tape. little piece of tape at the top. And if I want, I can fold up his legs to kind of make them pop out like 3D. Fold it up. And now I'm gonna tape on his arms. Maybe one is waving and one is down. So I'm gonna do that. Now, since we are learning about Eric Joyner, our artist who just loves robots and donuts, I am going to show you how to draw a donut. I'll attach my donut so that we kind of know what we're doing. And I'm going to put it right by the robot. And if it doesn't stick down all the way, even though it's a sticky note, I can give it some glue because that's where I want it. You can put the donut in his hand, um, maybe in the background, on the ground, wherever you want. But if you need to draw a donut, all you got to do, super easy peasy lemon squeezy, two circles. One, two. And then if you want frosting to decorate it, you just add a wavy wiggly line, bottom top, and you can add some sprinkles and then add some color. If you have something that is round that you can trace, That might help you too. Check this out. I'm going to use the tape to do the middle circle. Super cool, right? So now I'm going to add just the frosting 
my sprinkles, and now I gotta add the face and the details. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get some of my bingo dabbers. You can use regular markers, crayons, whatever you have. And I'm gonna give them lots of buttons and gears. Almost like a snowman. And I can go on and add some more, but I just wanted to encourage you, make sure that you have fun, make some donuts. Well, that was one of our challenges this week. Make a donut that is your favorite flavor, even if it hasn't been invented yet. I had some students, some kids in the art room one time that made superhero ice cream flavored donuts when we were doing this project. So get creative and think about what you would like if you were a robot and you had to eat a donut. So that's what we're doing today, my friends. Have fun and make sure you send me pictures. And I hope that I see you soon. Bye.